If you grew up in the environment or in a family where physical touch was a common and quite daily expression, so for sure in a workplace uh, you will be looking that somebody touches you or <laughs> vice versa, you touch uh, someone else just encouraging them. For sure, uh, we need to be careful here about abuse and sexual harassment. This is where we are setting the boundaries basically. So, uh, with the physical uh, touch, we actually engage in the, in the positive environment, right? And also, <laughs> and also, that helps to build a better, better uh, connection. So, a slight nice uh, touch on the shoulder, it, it really makes you feel better, even yourself, when you tap you onto know, the shoulder and say, "Hey, Loretta, good job, good job." That's why in some seminars and some uh, tea breaks people say hey give you a high five or, or touch your and say good job good job because we need that physical touch is is one of some of people languages or is just a, one language or is a combination of different uh, languages so i briefly have talked about five languages of appreciation uh, in a workplace in a less than five minutes that you can actually contribute into overall energy between your relationship between other co-workers because energy is just like a drip and it goes you know beyond so if you are the one who is using you know the words of affirmation appreciation maybe you are the one who really can create the quality time or maybe you need the quality time maybe you are the one who does you know the acts of service and also you are the uh, one who shares the tangible uh, gifts or plan to do the different gift uh, uh, procedures and ceremonies or at the end you know uh, you know how to use the physical touch and maybe it's a uh, your language right so uh, i know that's quite a lot of things to cover from <laughs> from one book that is written uh, i'm excited about this book and um, that's why I decided to share, to to get your interest on this on these books and the tools, because talking in a terms of vitality and energy generation, being in a in a strong body first, we need also to have a strong emotional and mental capacity. And if not us who is going to do the first step, nothing will happen. So, so that's why if you don't know your language, uh, I will share with you the, the small uh, test or you can do the inventory yourself on, uh, on this page that has the five uh, languages of appreciation and you will see what's your number one uh, language. But I guess we can sense already which our language uh, uh, is. So, of course, there is a different combinations out of five and um, and uh, actually uh, keep practicing because when you start practicing anything what I talk about, you see this first, first steps of, uh, of the results. So this is all about by feeling yourself better, empowered and stronger, that's how we can actually uh, help others and empower the, our environments as well. So Loretta here, Vitality Time, and see you in the next video.